Yat e she e yat chachini nishle a she him bashishin ki ani dasha che bi patotni dasha nella abatote nasha Callie Bennett dasha jin. My name is Callie Bennett and I am a Navajo Native American recording artist and I'm also a singer songwriter, praise and worship leader. I do a lot of many things and as well as an artist in many different forms. So my story is very unique. Um, I was actually born in South Korea and I was adopted as a baby, three, four months old, and I was raised on the Indian Reservation, the Navajo Nation. And um, so I tell people jokingly, I am a Navajo uh, stuck inside of an Asian body, <laughs> and, but I'm Navajo. <laughs> and so um, I was actually, you know, raised by my family here, raised by the Salt People clan. And um, my grandfather sat me down at a very young age and he shared with me and said, you know, you were given up for adoption. You didn't have a family, but we took you in and we gave you our language. We gave you our culture. We gave you our family. And so that is who you are. And so I don't know all of the reasons why I was actually given up for adoption, but I just know that God, the Great Spirit, uh, he brought me here for a reason and I am Navajo now. My mother said that when she first received me off of the airplane, she had to go to a, a play that very same night. And I guess I sang on tune or on key with the entire band and with the music in that play. And so that's when she realized, with the, before I could even speak words, she, she saw the musical talent. And uh, they already started teaching me about uh, the, the calling on my life and how music was gonna be a big part of that. One of my very first encounters with the, the Holy Spirit, the Great Spirit, was when I was at a very, very young age. And it was actually at church one time, and it was a very tangible presence. It's hard to describe it. I really felt His presence, and then there were different people that would come in my life, and they would speak into my life things that they didn't even know me. People who, who had never met me before, they would begin to speak into my life things that they were hearing from the Spirit. And um, it was so right on, so precise, that, I, that you knew it was only God that could, that could do that. Some of the outreaches that we do have on the Navajo Nation, especially through what I do, especially with my church, is we have youth camps, we have reaction tours with a great ministry called Reaction Tour. We have so many different people that come on the reservation and we reach out to our young kids from the little kids all the way to the adults. And then we also have an amazing meeting, amazing rally that we do called the Healing of the Nations Motorcycle Rally. And that's done in the fall time every single year <laughs> on the reservation and um, we reach out to even the biker world and then one of the amazing things that we've been doing is um, through my music and the opportunities with different communities is we'll actually share my music through concerts that we're calling that we do call ignite hope concerts and it's really about coming against suicide coming against the alcoholism and building the community so really igniting hope again for me, spending time with God in my prayer times really means a lot to my music because many of the songs that I received came from my prayer times. And so, and then a lot of the inspiration that I receive for writing music also comes from the teachings from my parents and from my father and from my grandfathers and uncles. And um, a lot of our Navajo values are a part of that. And so it's so important, you know, I would just encourage uh, artists and encourage uh, people out there in general to, if they don't have a prayer life, prayer is so important. To have a relationship with the Father God themselves, to have that, that closeness and that fellowship. Of all the songs that I've written, I, I really enjoy them all. I think one of my favorite songs is called Nations, Tribes, and Tongues because it includes every, I try to, I try to include every single nation through the instrumentation and it's really about the messages, bringing all of our hearts together about reaching out to people, reaching out to one another, really about all of us coming together to change this world.